Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Dennis. Welcome to Patina Code. This is So You Want to Build an AD. I'm cold right now, I'm done. Come on. Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in for this edition of So You Want to Build an AD, powered by LS Fabrication. And today, as I mentioned in the last video, we were going to do a video dedicated completely to the dismantlement of these side cow panels on the AD truck. So I'm going to go through and show you exactly how I removed the cow panels from this truck. I know that's kind of oxymoronish. I just did a video on how to install them, but... <laughs> there wasn't a video prior showing exactly how to take them off. Although in that video, we did go over how to get them off. It was just kind of skipped over. But this video is going to detail the process that I used to get the cow panels off of trench coat here. And anybody looking for that bit of information, I hope this helps you guys out. So without further ado, let's hop into that video. Cowlings, they're tough. They're tricky. But my non-professional experience. I'm gonna show you how we can remove the cow without damaging anything else. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the paint, rust, whatever it is on the cowlings. You need to get down to where you can see the spot welds. And there's a various array of spot welds <laughs> holding the cow onto the side of this truck. But that's the first thing you gotta do is get rid of all of the paint primer, whatever's happened to be up there on the cowl. And the first place you're going to want to start is up here on the seam where there is the lead fill. So here I want to caution you that the lead, it will fly. We need to get the lead fill stripped away from the panel. And once we do that, then we need to search out the spot welds because we're going to want to drill the spot welds out. For those of you who do not have a spot weld cutter, you can use a very sharp drill bit that is the same diameter of the spot weld and that's the purpose of removing the paint you can actually see where the spot welds are with the paint being on there but it's much easier if you knock the paint off you can see the dimples and those would be the spot welds so that's what we're going to be doing after we get all of the paint off of this lead filled area and then we'll go through and we'll start cutting out the spot welds so let's get on that real quick and then i'm gonna show you how to disassemble this panel so we're at the cowling on the passenger side and it's a duplicate of what's on the driver's side. The spot welds will be in the same locations. And that's why I say you need to clear the paint and everything off because then it gives you a better idea of where they are because then you can see them. And plus, the spot welds are low spots. So if there's any paint or anything left behind, it's going to be in there. Anyway, you got a spot weld there. You got one right here. That one's a doozy. Then there's a couple more that you can't really see because they got them in pretty good. But there will be like one here and one there. And you'll see once you start prying this apart. Move up a little bit. You got that's just welded right there. They just, you know. And then you come up here. And there's a good prime example of a tough one. You got spot weld here obviously there there's one right there you got one right there one right there you got one right there there's a lot of spot welds right there holding that cowling together this here is a weld right there in that crease and you'll run across that once you go to try to break this stuff loose then you'll have a spot weld right here actually they just welded this together but there's a spot weld there and there's one right there now they could vary depending on where the truck was made but they all had the same spec sheet and worked off the same thing you know the assembly manual so they're all in a general location the same general location and then of course now you have the lead fill and that looks so cool but we got to destroy it 
because the seam runs through here and it's filled with lead. All right, so the paint's removed and the spot welds are revealed. They do make a tool called a spot weld cutter, which I have one, but I've misplaced it. I've put it somewhere. I got so many toolboxes and cubbies around this joint. I, I don't know where I put it. I put it up for myself, but I prefer to use a drill bit. So really, you get yourself a good set of drill bits that's gonna last, that can actually cut through some stuff. And I prefer to use the drill bit. The spot weld cutter, it's cool and it does its job. And they have various sizes for the various size spot welds. But the thing about the spot weld cutter, and I wish I had it so I could demonstrate what it looks like to you so you would know what I was talking about. For those of you who don't know what a spot weld cutter is, you still have to put a small drill bit on the end of your drill and drill a pilot hole in order for the spot weld cutter to stay centered while it's rotating. It's almost like a hole saw. You know what I mean? You have to have the drill bit in the center of it as a pilot as you're boring the hole. So you would have to put a drill bit on the end of your drill, drill a pilot hole, then attach the bit and go to work. They got real aggressive teeth and they work really well. But I prefer drill bit. As I said, get you a good set of drill bits and you can use them for multiple uses as to where spot weld cutters are only good for spot weld. So we're going to get right over here to this and start knocking these out of here so you can see how the cow comes apart and uh you know this is sort of like a podcast slash documentary i'm gonna talk to your ass while i'm doing this shit and that's what you want to do you want to slow down when you feel it biting into the secondary panel because you like i say you can go through i'm gonna go ahead and go all the way through because you know, it doesn't matter. We're releasing this anyway. The holes are here. Hopefully, we pop the spot welds. We'll know when we get our chisel up under here and start pulling apart. You should have it walled out enough to where the metal will come free. Uh, everything looks good here. I'm going to give you guys a look at the inside, the cow panel side. And then you can get an idea of what we're doing. But the actual kick panel is riding right up against here. So let me get in there and show you guys that. What we just got through releasing was the panel there. You can see right there, that's the panel that's underlapped. But this right here is the kick panel. Well, remnants of the kick panel. You see it's missing, there's our archway. And there's the gills. And this would be the top of the actual kick panel. So we didn't drill completely through. We could have drilled through and came through here and that's the nut that we're going to need so if you break it off or whatnot just you can you know weld it right back in place but that's what it looks like from this side and now it'll be time to release these panels but we're not going to do that just yet we have to get the seam broke away we're going to have to chisel because there's some lead fill right there right here it's lead filled pretty deep and then the seam would run all the way across man that lead looks cool in there but it's got to go in order to get this shit off all right so we're going to start by prying this off we're going to pry this off of here right here we got our spot welds cut out then we will work our way up to here and grind these welds off to make that come off when we begin to pry right here we're going to pry in this way and drive it back then we will work our way up to the lead fill and we will chisel out the lead fill and then that will give us the ability to pry the cow panel out of here let's get to it all right it's getting late here so we need to start the work on here we got our makeshift chisel i like using the screwdriver i mean look at the point on that it's so fine i got chisels but we save them for more important things this is just simple sheet metal we're going to drive it back and get it out of the way we're going to start here at the bottom then we'll move up we're going to grind off this weld here pry this back then we're going to begin working on getting rid of the lead fill. We're just going to chisel it out. And then that'll give us access to the cow. We'll be able to get the cow free from there since all of our spot wilts are taken care of. So let's get to this. It's so much easier with spot welds gone.
All right, guys. Here's where things get a little tricky. You got to get the lead fill off of here. You got to get it out because this panel is up under here, spot welded on. And in order to get it out, you're going to have to release the spot welds. And then you might have to go on the other side, on the inside, and release some of the cowl. Get your sanding disc on. Go to work. Get this down. So be careful when you're up here, but definitely you see... The lead fill is gone. There's a spot weld there. There's one there. I believe there's one there. There's one there. We'll start prying these out. All right. So the upper is separated from the lower. It seems. Now we should go. Start prying this out. But there is the issue on the inside here. There is the issue of the old cow or the old kit panel on the other side that's spot welded in here somewhere. So that might hold us up. It might not. I mean, I want to save this, so I got to be careful. So. I'm gonna look to the inside and see what we got going on there. I'm gonna put the screwdriver up there. Kind of. I mean, we can beat all this back into shape. You don't want to get it too distorted, though. Yeah. It's the inside cow panel. Or shit, I keep calling it cow. It's the inside kick panel which is spot welded to the very ends here. So we might get the saw out just to cut it free and then get behind here later and chisel this out. I really don't feel like beating on it anymore. So I think I'm just gonna get the saw so I want to save this. I don't want to bend this because we want to put this, potentially put this on the driver's side. And like I said, we thinned this out pretty good here, but I mean, it's no big deal. We can fix it. It's just metal. It's not because we're going to cut this where it's not thin, weld a piece of metal, join the gap here so that we don't have to do too much filling. That's going to be my plan of action. I just thought about that while we're doing it. I'll sand this. I'll cut. No, I'm not saying I'll cut this back to the point where it's back to the thickness and then we'll weld a piece of metal between the two once we get this side going but that's in the future that's down the road right now we need to get this out of here you can see right there but there's a seam right there at the end and that's what's holding us up and I think yep right there at the top I think I can get my screwdriver in there and pry it away what we'll we'll want to see we can sizzle that old rusty ass kick panel off we can break that spot weld then we're home free always the spot that's just the hardest to reach is the one to fucking finish off you know we'll get it out of there it's just a matter of okay so I'll tell you what we're gonna do right. yeah I see it too spot weld right there so I'm gonna try this out just a little bit more and I can't pick up on where it's at on this side it's somewhere right there I think it's, I think it's right right there I'm gonna put the drill on it I think that's it right there It's 
not right there, it's damn close. At any rate, we'll drill through. is now out and separated. Shit, man. So that's it. Here's the removed piece. And you can see the spot welds where we did all the little drilling. And this lip is just like that on the aftermarket repop piece, which I got right here for you guys to see. The same thing. So the deal is you're going to have to get this to fit up under there. And you're going to do a little bit of fitting and trimming. But when we get to the actual install of this panel, we're going to go over all that. So in total, it took nearly 45 minutes to get this loose. And that's doing it the way that we did it. Grinding everything back, revealing the spot welds and then drilling them out <laughs> and then just working with it to get it out without damaging much of the cow we did get a little wild here i got a little wild with the grinder as we were sanding out the lead fill that's okay because there's going to be a gap between the two panels anyway which is going to have to be filled in some sort of way how i'm going to fill it is by taking a piece of scrap sheet metal and then filling the gap between and then run my smear coat instead of having just this big gap between here and there and filling it with panel bond or something like that i'd rather have it stitched together with metal and then just run a smear coat over that to cover up where the work was done so it's going to come out okay and everything's going to go together nicely that's my plan anyway we'll see how that goes once again i want to say thank you for tuning in to this edition of so you want to build an ad and look forward to more upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching. Stay with me. Right behind us.